Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Sure. I know her. She's the woman who identified you. No, no, I mean, I know, I know her. Oh, I don't know. I think I live near her. Could you please state your name for the court? Cynthia Webb. Do you recognize a man that you identified in a police lineup? Yes. Is he anywhere in this courtroom? Yes. Is it the defendant, Mr. McCall? Yes. Could you please describe for us what you saw on the night of June 14th? Um, I was coming out of this all night mini mart. Sure are you that the man you saw with a gun is the defendant? I'm sure. Thank you. No further questions. Ms. Webb. Is it Miss? Yes. Ms. Webb, had you ever seen the defendant before that night that you described to us? No. Do you know what perjury is? When you lie. When you lie under oath in a court of law. Do you know what the penalty for that is? You go to jail. Yes. Cynthia, did you ever see the defendant before that night? Objection. The witness has already answered that question, Your Honor. Sustained. I'm just trying to give the witness the opportunity to remember if she ever saw Mr. McCall any other time before the night in question. Miss Webb, do you understand the consequences of perjury? Yes. Let's get on with it then. What did you buy when you went into the Mini Mart? What did I buy? You, know, you remembered seeing Mr. McCall, you remembered a gunshot and a car crash. I just wondered if you remembered what you bought in the Mini Mart. Shampoo, I think. That's all? Yeah. Where do you live? 4356 17th Street, number four. Is that close to where this mini mart is? Close, sort of. How far would you say? I don't really know. Is it walking distance? No, not really. Did you walk there the night or drive? I drove. You drove? But when you left the mini mart, you stated that you walked along the street. Yes. How far? To the corner. Objection, Your Honor. I don't see the point to this line of reasoning. Is there a point? Yes, Your Honor. Since this is the only witness, I'm just trying to establish what the scene was like there that night. Try to get there as quickly as possible. Thank you, sir. How far from the corner was this mini mart? I mean, was it in the middle of the block? Close to the corner? In the middle, I think. So you walked all the way to the corner. I assume you were going back to your car. Yes. Any reason you parked so far away? There were a lot of cars on the street that night. Any other people on the street that night? No. Lots of cars, no people. Any traffic? I don't really remember. So you were the only person who saw Joe on the street that night? I didn't see anybody else. So you heard a gunshot, you heard a car crash, you saw Joe running past with a gun in his hand. What'd you do then? Call the police, 911? I went home. You went home? Straight home? Yes. So you're sure that it was Joe you saw that night? Yes. When you went home? Yes. When you went home, you saw Joe? No. Objection, Your Honor. The defense is deliberately trying to confuse the witness. I'm not trying to confuse the witness. The witness is trying to confuse this court. And I have witnesses who will refute her testimony, witnesses who were on the corner the night of the shooting, 
who never saw Miss Webb, who never heard a gunshot, who never saw Joe running past. Now, Miss Webb saw Joe outside of her apartment building that night because he lives in the alley next door. Now, isn't that true, Miss Webb? Objection! When I referred to the defendant as Joe, you knew exactly who I was talking about, didn't you? And this trial is the people versus William McCall, not Joe. The name Joe has never been mentioned in this trial. So how did you know who I was talking about? Miss Webb, how do you know the defendant as Joe? He lived in the alley next to my apartment building. Oh, shit. Why did you lie to this court? I don't know. Are you afraid of somebody? I don't know. Are you trying to protect somebody? I don't know. Answer the questions, Miss Webb. Brown be forced to cite you for contempt. She didn't talk. 